Hi, this is Subramanyam Shankaran. Uh, today we are going to have a look at one of uh, a wonderful tool that I found yesterday. I was so amused. Okay, this, this looks like a one-stop shop for all the information gathering. In fact, uh, um, one of my uh, friends requested me to gather some information about this company. So, uh, there are, anyway, a lot of recon NG is anyway there. Okay, so the harvester is there. Okay, there are a lot of other tools Okay, individual tools using which we can gather as much as information as possible about a particular target. But um, uh, when I was browsing the internet, okay, I found this on the help net security, that particular search for the Arbus. I'll give you the link on the GitHub, okay, um, which you can uh, install this. So Arbus, so Python, argus.py okay now the beautifully we have got um, close to around 54 plus 1 plus 1 plus so 57 options okay associate host dns or http dns record dns check check domain info okay from that okay in fact um, um uh, you know the, the privacy check the gdpr complaint check okay security.txt check okay i was so fascinated to so happy to look at this privacy and GDPR compliance check. Okay, now this is not an um, you know full fledged vulnerability scanner or full fledged policy checker for you, but again, uh, it does something okay related to the GDPR and privacy. Looking at the policies, etc. Now uh, carbon footprint, CMS detection, cookies analyzer, content discovery, crawler. Okay, so let's say uh, I want to look at the DNS records. Three test. PHP vulnerableweb.com is a purposefully vulnerable website that is hosted by uh, you know Acunetix. Invalid domain format. Okay, test PHP dot vulnerableweb.com. It says invalid. Please enter to continue. Look at this one. Okay, let's look at the DNS records. Let's do it for google.com. Okay. So these are the records that are available for google.com. Okay, A records, okay, WAWA, okay, the mailers, name servers, TXT, okay, and uh, SOA. Okay, enter to continue. It brings you back to the previous screen. And um, let's say, look at the crawlers. Okay. 26. Okay, let's say... Uh, Again, google.com. Taking some time, okay. Let's say what, let's wait to see what it actually returns. Taking a bit over time, okay, because a very big organization, it all depends on your network speed. Okay, there are a lot of factors that decide how uh, you know fast your responses directly find the results and excellent when robots.txt. In fact, um, you know, penetration testing training. So when you do a directly search on a particular website, or let's say Nikto on a particular website where the vulnerable system, okay, so you need to do and uh, capture the flag. So this is one of the boards or txt is what we see what is allowed what is actually not allowed. okay so uh, subdomain enumeration subdomain takeout wire source scan okay now um, i'm leaving it to you for trying all the options okay let's look at the directory finder the email harvesting the harvester is one of the beautiful tools okay let's stop this right away
Okay. So let's uh, signal of time. So email harvesting 29. Okay, 29 target. Let's say gmail.com. Uh, gmail.com is be a huge response. Let's use infosec. Yes, yes, dot com. This is my company. Okay, poor maximum price. Now we are not able to find it. Okay, enter to continue. Bring back the previous screen. Okay, so let's say email harvester. Let's say IBM. Now, this is this will actually find out the publicly available information with respect to IBM.com. It's like, you know, you're using a Google to do a search. But just to recognize it. Just taking some time as well. Now, uh, if you look at the results, okay, it's actually copying to one of the folders called results with an RS, okay, as in text. So that doesn't, it doesn't mean that you need to copy the, the output, okay? It is anywhere available for you saved on the particular folder. You've got the domain info, domain reputational check, open port scan, okay? So this looks like, uh, you know, it's going to use something like an uh, end map. Okay, scroll, no email address is found. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's look at the open port scan. Okay, let's say test php vulnerablewebcom Uh, personally, ask me, Nmap is a much more powerful tool. In fact, uh, if you want to go in depth with Nmap, right, that itself will be a five day training. Okay, there's a wealth of options that's available for you in Nmap. But let's see what this, uh, you know, the open scan option might from our is going to give us. So if you want to practice, you can host a vulnerable machine, as in, uh, okay, port 80, port 80, okay, it's displaying only port 80. Eh? So you can host a vulnerable machine, okay, like BWAPP, okay, and you can give a particular uh, link, and then you can also check it locally. Okay, let's look at uh, the uh, firewall detection or data leak detection. Let's look at who is. Okay. <laughs> Let's use IBM.com for who is. If it's private, then we don't get the information displayed here, but if it's um, publicly available, then we should get it. Timed out. Okay, now if you want to do 100, it runs all the infrastructure tools. 100. Test PHP vulnerable web. Now, so network infrastructure is 1 to 18. Okay, and web application analysis is 200. Okay, and threat and uh, security and threat intelligence. Okay, so that becomes uh, 300. Okay, so ideally, this will take a lot of time. Okay, so it's doing a DNS check, and uh, for some reason, it's saying yeah, it is saying test php vulnerable web.com. Okay, so in, uh, in web format, we can give some other website to have a look into this. Okay, I'm leaving it to you for trying. Okay. On this website, for which I have an authority to uh, actually do it. 
Okay. So it's executing the option seven now. So one stop shop for uh, most of your needs. You don't have to uh, know multiple commands. Okay? It, it eases your job. Good. Is running at the scan now. SLTLS check. Let's see what's available under uh, the infrastructure thing. Okay, so after that, it has to do a trace route. TX records who is lookup and then zone transfer. TLR Cypher Suite. Okay, so it has generated this thing successfully. Okay, now it is saving. Control Shift C. It has saved the result in this location. Okay, so you will go to another screen. Do a cat. Okay, now you have got the complete. Does you know do an uh, output? Welcome to an particular file. So I'm leaving it to you for trying the run all the web intelligence threads to thread tools and then all secure tools, okay, which is for security. Okay, all secure tools should be ideal network infrastructure, web application, web application analysis, and security and threat intelligence. Okay, it might take a lot of time, but um, it's worth using this particular tool than trying a lot of commands. Okay, as a one-stop shop for your complete recognitions. So it's an it's on the GitHub. I'll give you the link on the description so you can practice and enjoy yourself with the penetration testing. Cheers there, this is Subramaniam Shankaran from IEEE's Connect with us for regular cyber security news, CSSP, CDPO training, and we are coming up with the threat intelligence training and mastering the penetration testing training. So this will be known to you. Join us for the WhatsApp group for the regular updates. Cheers there, bye-bye.